So how do we pick a good spot to build our first base? As I said earlier, it should be defensible, but that's not the only thing you should be looking for. For instance, if you built right here, you've got defense from one side, you could probably easily close off the other side, it's not too hard, you make a little base area right on this shelf. But you have very few resources. You know, you've got very little in the way of trees, you've got some rock. You have to travel to the forest over here, there's, there's no berries here. So, to start here, it's going to be hard. So I wouldn't choose this as a starting point. Later on, when you don't care anymore, you got a million dinosaurs, this would be fine. If you go up a little bit further, maybe it looks a little better. So here we have lots of rocks, lots of trees, possible dinosaurs from the forest, one cliff side, so you got a defensible defensible back. This is an unbreakable rock. But you could build probably from this unbreakable rock across something. The problem with an unbreakable rock like this is that dinos are probably gonna be able to walk right over it. So it doesn't act as defense. So I know you might have thought that. Heck, I just said it, right? The reason I said it is because it's an instant automatic thought. First thing you're going to do is try to auto follow your dinos over something like this and see if they can do it. If they can, it's no good for your purposes. So this is a good spot as far as resources are concerned. There's dinosaurs around. Dinosaurs are one of the resources you need to be looking for. Dinosaurs are important, an important resource to you. You need to tame dinosaurs. You need to be able to eat dinosaurs. So as you can see, this is sort of light on dinos. But if you remember from our previous uh, video on the river, this, these rivers are excellent sources of dinos. So you're not very far from dino meat right there. And, ta and taming opportunities. You, know, you want to be able to cliff tame. There's plenty of cliffs around here. Rich taming. You're pretty far from a mountain. It's going to be tough on you for, for metal. Which is something you have to think about later. You want to be sort of close to a mountain for metal. I mean, you're pretty close to the volcano. It's not terrible. This isn't a bad place. That wouldn't be a terrible place to start building. On this particular server, most of the really highly defensible spots have been taken already by some structure or other. I mean, this is an excellent spot to build right up here. This structure was meant to be an egg farm that didn't get finished, but you can see there's no defense here. The person building here just made a couple boxes. So these dinosaurs, if it wasn't a giganto, would maybe be an issue for it. The point here, right here on the end, is very highly defensible. Right? You, you have three points of defense naturally in place. You don't have to put anything up here. There's nothing flying in the sky. No Argentavises. You can build a simple wall straight across here. And with that wall you can have a locked off point. These kinds of spots are really very easy to find all over the arc. Here we are on the eastern shore. Here's another place where you've got three covered sides, one pinch point. You can easily put a set of gates down right there. All you're going to do is look a little bit. Not hard to find them. They're not the most interesting points to build when you're... I would say this is going to be probably a place for you to start building. Uh, not a place to end building. And let me show you how to do that so of defense. Not that much room for dinos. You know, you might have to build out further. One of the things you need to consider is where your dinos are going to go anytime you start building a base. You might have to build out further for the dinosaurs. And I always look for a fairly large paddock for my dinosaurs because, as you saw earlier, I got lots of them. I got lots of them. So I need to know I can defend those dinos. Building here is going to be a little tricky because there's no wood. Uh, I'm going to build by hand just quickly. I'm going to build out of stone and I'm going to use dinosaur gates as my defensive structure. Why? Because they're actually cheaper than putting down a stone foundation, three stone walls, twice. That's how far you have to go for a dino. I think it's actually three times. But I'm going to say twice for right now because that's what I'm absolutely sure of. So take my 
handy dandy hatchet. I'm going to start chopping things. I'm going to make myself four stone gateways real quickly just to show you what it is you need. Four stone gateways. And I'll fill these with stone gates, which uh, with the reinforced stone gates, which I'm not going to show you because there's no need to show you that. You're just going to make them and put them in. It's really the blocking out that's important. But I've had, I have a friend who I try to explain this to, who couldn't understand at first why, why, how I could block something out with with just gateways. So, as a matter of fact, this area here with its size could probably be blocked with one giant stone door and a couple gates and I'd be done. But all you do is you find a pinch point like this one here and starting at one end. Now, I don't like this. This is a place something can come up. So I'm going to put mine down here at the end. And these will lock to each other. At least they used to. There they go. And you can go straight across one by one with these locking to each other. No problem at all. As you can see, they lock on a few different angles. Not just straight across. And each one is taking up the same room as a almost, four, I think it's four high. Four high as a three to four uh, wall wall high fence using quite a lot more material. So this is a very fast way to make a gate and I don't think it's actually very ugly either. Uh, put in the, some doors for you just to show you what it looks like. This is the first thing you should do. Don't be making yourself a house first. It's really not smart. The very first thing you need to do is secure an area for your own survival. These, the only problem with these is they don't stop things from spawning. Gates don't stop things from spawning. Trees, other things. So you might want to put up a few. You might want to put up a few other things, but you can see how quickly I can go across this with probably seven or eight. I can walk through at any point. I would probably go ahead and farm up a behemoth gate and finish this with a behemoth gate and put one in the center and hook dino gates to the sides. That's probably how I would go ahead and do this. And you block this out simply with the doors. I saw how fast I gathered four of these. It took me no time at all. I could finish gathering these fairly quickly. Of course, this server's tuned up quite a lot. But even without that, you know, I can gather these very, very quickly. I, I've done this on one by servers more than once. And you can see it doesn't look that bad. And it allows you to go through your fence at any point, which is nice. These kinds of spots are really very easy to find all over the arc. Here we are on the eastern shore. Here's another place where you've got three covered sides, one pinch point. You can easily put a set of gates down right there. All you got to do is look a little bit. Not hard to find them. They're not the most interesting points to build when you're... I would say this is going to be probably a place for you to start building. Uh, not a place to end building. So that's how I build the gate. That's how I pick a spot to build my first base. And then the most important thing is, you know, your first base is going to be small. You don't want to have enough space for a, your, your dino pack and a small house. Like I said, I'm going to... Brink made a really nice ba base, Brink the Gamer. So I'm going to link you Brink the Gamer's video on how to build a small base. And this is how I would block out that small base. It's really quite important that you build a fence first fast in a very defensible spot. Don't build somewhere where there's a mountain behind you uh, unless you're going to fence out on the mountainside itself because dinosaurs can jump right down the mountain and get into your base. I actually tested that with, with Brink. So that's what you do. Really simple. I'm not going to go the entire way across because you don't need to see me do that. So as I said, next I'll be going into a PvP world with a friend of mine. You'll be hearing both both of our voices. It's going to be a mix of a uh, play video, whatever how they call those things, and a video. Uh, this is Monkey's base. You probably should check out Monkey Puzzle. He 
He builds pretty epically. You see he's building this entire gothic tower. I, I love this freaking thing. Um, sort of a, a how to play and a uh, just us playing the game kind of thing. But I'm going to try to explain, and I'm going to be explaining to him 